in the beginning of this manhua, we see the divine realm in the divine world. We see the supreme peak, and there are three figures standing on it. One of them says Doom and Star. Why then we see the boy named Doom say it's your fault, my loving tutor. You shouldn't have refused to teach us that important skill with such a lame excuse. That the skill has internal falls, and then girl named Star say... You should blame yourself for being so selfish. We're just doing the right thing. The man who has two swords in his chest say, I taught you and made you gods. How could you then they throw him down from the divine peak? Doom say farewell over loving tutor, you ruthless traitors. How could you kill your own tutor? If I could have another life, I'll slaughter the divine realm and kill the betrayers. We see a fireball in the sky of the Ling's village. Then we see a grave of Ling Jian, Chen's Mem Oriel. We see some people standing around the grave of Jianchen. People starts to say Jianchen was a great person, however, our village was too weak to rescue him. Taiexin take care, the people of the Tianlong sect are all brutal gangster. How could they be so malevolent? The patriarch of the Ling's village say, Tixin, what's gone is gone, I'm sorry for your loss. Takes in, replied Patriarch, I promise I'll kill Li Tianlong and sacrifice his blood to my dead son. We see Jianchen in the grave. He opens his eyes. He say, even God's helped me. I survived. Then he say, Doom and Star, I'll revenge you. When I go back to the Divine Realm, he remembers the memories of the body. He say, why are there so many memories crowding in my mind? Then he came to know the name of the host is Ling Jianchen. His martial spirit was ruined, and he got killed by being exposed to the sun for an excessively long time. He see, he was a martial genius, and had gained the orange martial spirit of three grade at the age of fifteen years. Everyone congratulated him on it. His martial spirit was ruined by Li Tianlong, and Li Tianlong was the one who hanged him in front of the city gate, then the god's tutor who had become Jianchen say. Li Tianlong. You're an inferior cultivator, genuine realm, don't you be so arrogant that he hear some sounds and say, what is the sound? Outside, we see an old man and a lady coming. The old man says, Ling Tiexin, get out and meet us. Then the people around them say, isn't this Jianchen fiance? Why is she so late for the memorial service? They don't even send us regards when Jianchen was captured by the Tianlong sect. You must be up to some evil plan. Ling Tiexin comes out and say, Cheng Rui, you. Cheng Rui say, I'm Cheng Ruoxue. Nice to meet you. Uncle Ling, Cheng Ruoxue, in opposing manner. Say, I came here to get the marriage contract for me, and Jianchen take the money as my compensation for your loss. Tiexin becomes greatly shocked hearing this. He becomes angry and say, Jianchen just left us, and you couldn't wait to cancel the engagement to him. What did my son mean to you? The old man with Cheng Ruoxue releasing his aura. He say, Ling Tiexin, you better accept it, Li Tianlong son. Already agreed to marry Ruoxue. You better give us the contract right now. You're too weak to bear our rage. His aura waves was too much for the other. In the room, a group of mans surround them. One of them says, damn it. You crossed the line. Do you think no one in our village can put up a fight against you? Now get out, Janshan needs to rest in peace. Janshan in the grave, say a bunch of idiots. Ruo Shu brings out a green plate with a dragon symbol. She say, I've got the Tianlong plate, I'll slaughter you whole. Clan fight me if you dare to the Ling's village. People say it's the Tianlong plate of the Tianlong sect. It represents the head of the sect Li Tianlong murdered our you master Jianchen Tianlong. Sect is very influential and powerful. We'll be in trouble if we irritated them, Texans say. How could you collude with the murderer of my son from now on? Your clan and mine will be at daggers drawn. Behind them a bright light shines the plate in Ruo Shues. Hand explodes the patriarch of the Ling's village. And Taiexin becomes greatly shocked and says, Who is it, Ruo Shu say? Darn it, who attacked him? The grave of Jianchen explodes. And Jianchen comes out from there, standing the people of Ling's village, and Tixin becomes greatly shocked. Rokshue say, Impossible, Ling Jianchen was killed. Who are you, Jianchen? Say, God came to my rescue. I didn't die. Tixin holds his son and say, Jianchen, it's you. Is it true you didn't die? Jianchen bows down and say, It's my fault. I'm sorry to keep you worrying about me. 
Tyson grabs his son and say, get up. I'm glad you are fine. Ruok Sue shout at them, saying, Ling Jianchen, you're still alive. Good and evil smile appears on her face. She say, go and talk your father out of being stubborn. Jianchen with a fast speed comes near her. Jianchen slaps her one, the face he say, you filthy woman, kneel down. Rukshu say, you slapped me, Jianchen say, so what? Jianchen with a serious look. He say, look how rude you are to my father, I could have given you a more serious. Punishment, Ruokshu attacks Jianchen. I'm gonna kill you. Jianchen simply dodge the attack and say, these are just low-level skills and techniques, how hilarious. He hits here behind the neck, saying, you're no better than a vulnerable pest. Ruokshu claps to the ground in front of him. Ruokshu, father, you punk don't hurt my daughter. Go to hell, Taiex, and say, Cheng Rui, you want to hit my son, I'll kill you. He stops the hit from Cheng Rui. Cheng Rui was thrown away from the attack, and he say, I didn't know he's actually stronger than me when Ruoxue see this. She runs towards her dad. She says, Dad, are you okay? Jianchen say, Cheng Ruoxue wouldn't blame you for canceling our marriage arrangement since I appeared dead and you don't want to be a widow, but you shouldn't have threatened my father and the other Pio Paul in my clan. Then Jianchen announced that he is ditching Ruoxue. Ruoxue say, Ling Jianchen, you crap, you initiated the cancellation of engagement before I did. I swear I must make you pay for what your insults. Jianchen shouts, stop rambling on and on, get your ass out of my place. His aura throws them out. They both thinks, how did he get this power? Ruok Shui say Ling Jianchen. Wait and see. I'll bring the third son of the Li's family here in three months. He and his family, rage will eat you alive. Jianchen reply, come at any time. I'll be waiting for you. This is part two. If you want another part of this recap, comment below, and don't forget to like and subscribe for more Manhua recap. In the beginning we see the ancestral hall of the Ling's village an old man who is the patriarch of the village say Jianchen I checked and confirmed that you have been dead way would you. Tieshin say Jianchen I have the same question what happened on you. Jianchen replied to both of them after I fell in coma, I sank in suspended animation. When I came to I got to know more about cultivation. And an evil smile appears on his face. He say he has also got a way to regain his martial spirit. They both become greatly shocked hearing it and say really. Jianchen reply yes, he say he need lots of beast blood and medicinal materials, I can reach the ninth level of Lian Yuan realm in three months, even the Jin Yuan realm. The patriarch becomes very happy and say Jianchen over village now counts on you I'll organize a hunting event in the village to get medicinal materials and beast blood for you. Tieshin say my good son I'll go and check how much beast blood is left in the storage and bring it to you. Jianchen say thanks dad we see the patriarch giving order to some people behind them. In the next scene we see some bowls of blood are given to Jianchen Tieshin say here's all the beast blood and over village feel free to use it will bring you more. Tieshin with some people begging to leave for the hunt the hunting team say we wish you good luck we'll get more beast blood for you now the whole village is counting on you. Jianchen say don't worry I won't let you down. Jianchen brought out a book from his hand he say I put so much effort in writing this tranquil quietus scripture though it has flaws it might still help me reach the top of cultivation now let's work on it. Then he starts to cultivate. A voice say all sorts of energy and spirit transform quickly the tranquil quietus happens the world will be at my mercy. The tranquil book shines and some words starts to shine in front of Jianchen. Jianchen say rise the blood and the bowls rise and starts to gather up in the sky. Jianchen jumps and say here I am. Jianchen say let the tranquil quietus happen. The law of the nature will no longer restrain me now. Sacrifice my body to my blood reshape the martial spirit. A big ring appears behind him and devil smile appears on his face. He say the holy ring of tranquil quietus has been successfully made. A big picture of his previous life face appears behind him. He say doom and star wait and see the day when I take the ring of tranquil quietus with me and go back to the divine realm will be the you go to hell. Jianchen seeing his tranquil ring. 
He say now my martial spirit is just at the first grade, but it is beyond the control of the nature its potential is limitless. He say as long as I have enough beast blood and the ring of tranquil quietus my cultivation will be irresistible and non-stop. In the next scene we see Jianchen have been cultivating for more than five days. On the 13th day Tiaxin say son we've got you more beast blood Jianchen say thanks dad you all did a great job. On the 25th day Jianchen makes another breakthrough. Jianchen say now I'm at the 7th grade of Lianyuan realm and my ring of tranquil quietus also reached the 2nd level. I'll enter Xinyuan realm in 3 months if I keep making progress fast like that. Closing his hand he say then I'll slaughter the Tianlong sect. And fat man comes in the room and say bad news Jianchen the hunting group had an accident. Jianchen become greatly shocked and say what? This is the end of my recap I will upload another part if this video hits 10 likes don't forget to like and subscribe. In the beginning we see the ancestral hall of the Ling's village there we see some man saying patriarch the Cheng's family are big bullies they killed over people we must take vengeance on them another man say I'd rather go to hell with them than let them get away with it we see the bodies of the members of the hunting team laying on the ground the patriarch say the Chang's family is supported by the Tianlong sect. Fighting them is like crashing an egg onto a rock now we must defend our borders and send someone to look for Tiaxin we see Jianchen running towards the ancestral hall Jianchen comes in and say patriarch what happened to my dad the patriarch becomes shocked and say Jianchen the patriarch say Jianchen now that you're here let Taishan tell you what happened Taishan say Jianchen when we were hunting for beast blood we were ambushed by hundreds of people arranged by the Chang's family then he say you father covered us when we were retreating and he went missing at Last Jianchen becomes greatly shocked and say what he grabs the bolt on his chest with anger he say no one is allowed to hurt my family if anything bad happens to my dad I swear I'll make the whole Chang's clan vanish we can see the anger in his eyes some people gather around him to calm him down by saying don't worry Jianchen I believe your father will be fine another person say Jianchen you're too young to handle this let us help you another person say that's right we will bring your father Back Jianchen comes to the patriarch he say patriarch I wanna go search for my dad with uncle Taishan the patriarch refusing his request he tells Jianchen to don't behave like a childish kid he tells Jianchen that the chaotic mountains are full of fierce demon beast no one below the fifth grade of Lian Yuan realm is allowed to get in the mountains Jianchen say patriarch it's just a piece of cake now that you said. So he closes his eyes his aura starts to gather around him he, the patriarch becomes very shocked to see it in Jianchen you are at the 7th grade of Lian Yuan realm the peoples become shocked hearing it they say the 7th grade of Lian Yuan realm unbelievable in less than a month his ruined martial spirit went to the 7th grade of Lian Yuan realm he's such a genius it's a blessing for us from the heaven Jianchen boss down and say patriarch my dad went missing how could I sit back and do nothing patriarch please allow me to. Join the searching unit hearing this from Jianchen the patriarch say okay I agree but you must listen to Taishan and do not take any risks after saying this the patriarch order Taishan to bring some people and go to the chaotic mountains to search for Tiaxin and you're as safety first Taishan hearing the order he say yes patriarch in the next scene we are taken to the chaotic mountains where we see Taishan and Jianchen with some people going up on the mountain Taishan say Jianchen there are countless demon beast dangerous areas and brutal barbarians in the chaotic mountains you must not leave us Jianchen reply I got it Jianchen sends someone ahead of them he stops Taishan and say uncle there is an ambush a hundred meters ahead Taishan becomes shocked on hearing it and say what Taishan looks ahead and sees nothing he holds Jianchen and laughs he say Jianchen you must be nervous that you mistook we're not far from the Ling's village no matter how bold the Chang's family are they don't dare to sad ambushes here one person from their team say yes Jianchen you're indeed a talented cultivator but you need to accumulate more fighting experience another person say it's fine you feel nervous after all it's your first time to step in the chaotic mountains Jianchen jumps in the air and holds some knives in his hands he tells them fine I'll let you see what's awaiting for us ahead Taishan becomes shocked and say Jianchen what are you doing the people with say Jianchen don't do that Jianchen throws the knives in his hands and in direction and tells the peoples now that you are here present yourself the knives hits a sword we see a man named Cheng Shen with an evil smile behind the sword when puts the sword down that man say you found us you're good but that wouldn't help today all of you will die the people with Jianchen become shocked seeing it and say it true we are ambushed by Cheng Shen one person say Cheng Shen is one of the top 10 cultivator in the
Chang's village it was he who killed over fellows and other persons say darn it we're in trouble Taishan seeing it he say Jianchen I'll fight Changchen while you break their siege and go back to the village Jianchen don't say anything and bring out his sword Jianchen launch an attack saying they're the murderer of our fellows Taishan try to stop Jianchen before Jianchen attack could hit Changchen a man comes in between them and Jianchen attack hits his sword he say I see your ling Jianchen Aren't you you insulted Ruashua? I'll kill you now one person from Jianchen's side say he is Cheng's with a man who was born with ultra might another person say though he's at the 7th grade of Lian Yuan realm he is unbelievably mighty and is as strong as a grade 8th cultivator of Lian Yuan realm another person tell Jianchen to go away from there Cheng's will attack Jianchen he dodges attack Jianchen think he is indeed very strong Cheng Sua. launch another attack at Jianchen and tell Samuel. Regret for what you did is go to hell Jianchen say you asked for your own trouble as eyes shines this is the end of my recap if this video hits 10 likes I will upload another part and don't forget to like and subscribe see you in the next video.